Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's episode is The Kind Intention of God's Will Toward Us, Walk in Your Destiny destiny and Glorify God. Continuing our look at destiny, we started with the life of Jacob back in Genesis, and now we're continuing to explore that in the book of Ephesians. But we're still thinking about in the back of our minds the life of Jacob and his destiny and how he changed everything that came after him. Okay, let's take a look and see, you know, what we got today. We have, first of all, God gave you your destiny out of his kindness. You know, he adopted us as sons. Out of his kindness, he adopted us and turned us into his sons. He created his destiny. And again, this is all done out of his kindness to to give towards us, to for our benefit, in other words. We're going to take a look at uh, two verses, uh, two series of verses. Uh, the first one is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 5 through 6, and Isaiah 3018. So let's just pop that up on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a look through it and see what God has to say to us afterwards. To begin with, this is Ephesians 1, 5 through 6. He, God, he destined us to adoption as his sons through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intention of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, which he freely bestowed on us, in the beloved. And then in Isaiah 30, 18, we see, therefore the Lord longs to be gracious to you, and therefore he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for him. Okay, let's see what God's saying in here in these two scriptures. You know, one's in the Old Testament from the prophet, one's in the New Testament from Paul. And they may look like they're very different, but they're actually part of one Paul in addressing one issue, and it's God's plan of salvation for us. So let's begin with God adopts us as sons through Jesus Christ by what he has accomplished. And he does this out of his kindness. So we are heirs of the work of Jesus through his kindness. And he does this again through his kindness by his grace. And not only this, but it was also to the praise of his grace. So what's that mean? Well, that means that we, God is glorified when you're saved, when I'm saved. He gets the glory, and he is glorified when, he, when we walk in our destiny. And God longs to do this for us, just as it's saying in Isaiah. And now, what's that mean? Kind of a curious phrase. But if you check a few other translations, like the King James, where it says, therefore he will be exalted, or the English Standard Version, both very good translations, it says, therefore he exalts himself to show mercy on you. So what it means is that, when we are saved, God is exalted and praised. When we walk in our destiny, God is exalted and praised. And this is all part of his plan. So when we follow Jesus, the Father is praised and exalted. So to continue and to sum up, when we walk in our destiny, we praise God for all people. God is exalted and made known and the God and, and our destiny is completed and God is made known and the gospel is expressed. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Thanks and so long. All right, thanks for watching. We, you can find us on the web at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. We meet 1030 Sunday mornings in 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Hope to see you there, and thanks once again.